The village of Mapeleng is tucked away in the Lesotho highlands. It's home to some 600 people who live from their cattle and harvests. Despite the high altitude and frequent rains, the region is fairly barren. There are few proper roads here, villagers get around by horse or donkey. Nearby is one of the biggest lakes in Lesotho. It wasn't always so, there used to be just a small river running through the valley. Since the mid-1990s, a 185-metre wall was erected in the valley below Mapeleng as part of the Katsi Dam project. At 50 kilometres long, the artificial lake supplies neighbouring South Africa with clean water and delivers clean electricity to Lesotho. The dam is a success because it rains a lot in Lesotho. Water seeps through every rock face. Countless brooks and rivers flow into the valley and the Orange River, the biggest river in southern Africa. The main region supplied by the reservoir is Gauteng province, more than 600 kilometers away. It doesn't rain much in Johannesburg, so South Africa buys water from the Lesotho highlands. Inflow and outflow are regulated in the control center according to stringent water management principles. You don't have to dry the rivers because of the ecosystem downstream of the dams. There's again the communities living downstream of the dam. They have projects that they, they, they use the water with maybe send construction of bricks and bricks. And then so you don't have to actually close completely the water. Liketseng Motibi also works for the water company that operates the Katsa Dam. Water is one of Lesotho's most important exports and a lucrative one too. The main benefits uh, could be those ones that uh, we are generating electricity for the whole nation with this water before being transferred to South Africa. And again, there are some royalties that come through to Lesotho as a result of transfer of water to Gauteng province. Uh, Lesotho would get an average of 30 million maluti on a monthly basis. We've headed a few kilometers upstream with engineer Tabiso Kolani. At the entrance to a one kilometer long tunnel system, he tells us about one of the project's most impressive features. Uh, this is the intake tower. Uh, this is where actually the first uh, water transfer starts from. The intake tower is about 100 meters uh, tall. Uh, below it, there's a tunnel now that connects the, the lake to the Muela hydropower. That's where we generate the uh, power, 72 megawatts for, for the country. The water flows 60 kilometers through the tunnel that sluices through the mountains. The system follows the area's natural slope and therefore saves energy. To follow the water's path, a car has to cover twice the distance above ground. This is where Chabane Chabane works. He's a shift foreman at the Muela hydropower plant. The plant operates 24 hours a day to keep Lesotho supplied with electricity. Chabani does rounds every day, checking the huge turbine halls where the generators are powered. It's warm and damp down here. Lesotho relies almost exclusively on clean hydropower, completely free of environmentally damaging CO2 emissions. And that's not set to change anytime soon. The station is designed for 72 megawatts, which means we need something like uh, another 50 or 60 megawatts. But if we build the second tunnel, that would mean the same powerhouse, and that would mean more than the Sutri needs. 30,000 litres of water per second flow from the Lesotho Highlands to South Africa, where it's needed by households and industry. Among the beneficiaries is the municipality of Emfuleni, home to roughly one million.
Mpuleni has been selected to set an example for municipal water conservation in South Africa. Every day, scores of plumbers set out because nearly two-thirds of the water from Lesotho is lost due to dripping taps and damaged pipes. The project is financed to the tune of 1 million euros by a public-private partnership. The team includes German experts who advise and help implement technology. There's quite a lot of, of leakages here. That is the biggest challenge. Then and we have to work almost 24 hours in a day to repair the small leakages because in terms of the, the council policy, a one drop is too many. So at any drop, you have to, 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 to ensure that uh, we stop it immediately. Once South Africa gets used to conserving water, it could save millions because further costly dam projects will no longer be needed. Making the most of the existing water supply will also protect the environment because the Lesotho Highlands Water Project provides a nearly inexhaustible supply of clean energy.